On one of her last days in office, the German Chancellor announced another round of restrictions, what she said was needed to curb the so-called fourth wave. Merkel on Thursday said the COVID-19 situation in Germany was serious and required an act of national solidarity. To be quite honest, the fact that we are now in the middle of such a strong fourth wave does not make me happy. It depresses me, especially when I look at certain regions. The new restrictions will impact mostly the unvaccinated. Germans without the COVID-19 shot or who have not recovered from the disease will be excluded from large areas of public life. They will be banned from visiting non-essential stores, restaurants and sports and cultural venues like cinemas and museums. Additionally, the government will impose strict limits on private meetings for the unvaccinated. A household with one unvaccinated person can meet with only two people from another household. After months of assurances that it won't make vaccines compulsory, the German government is now following Austria's lead. Merkel said on Thursday she is in favour of a mandate, not just for healthcare workers, but for the general population. A general vaccination mandate should be decided by Parliament. We have asked the Ethics Commission to work on a recommendation and the general vaccination mandate could start in February 2022 if recommended. Finance Minister Olaf Scholz, Merkel's likely successor, has also backed the measure. Germany's vaccination rate hovers around 70% lower than its European neighbours. Germans have mixed views. In the beginning I was sceptical because I believe everyone should be able to decide for his own body. But now, unfortunately, it appears there is no other way out of this pandemic. I think this is one step too far, because we should not forget that there are reasonable people out there too. A mandate is controversial since a significant section of society is resistant to COVID vaccines. Most who are not vaccinated say they will continue to resist. Some in the medical community are also questioning the purpose of a mandate. The only reason at all to follow through with a vaccine mandate would be if there was a particular vaccine that was capable of creating herd immunity and would therefore provide protection to others, like it is with the measles vaccine, which creates a herd immunity. And the COVID vaccine can absolutely not do this, and that is when any discussion of mandatory vaccination could actually be put to bed. Eddie Aitken, NTD News.